Hello everyone, Daria here and welcome to my new Russian language lesson. Today we're going to cover Russian plurals. So, let's begin! We have already covered this topic a little bit, speaking about personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, so now just nouns. Hopefully you remember that uh, each word can consist of several parts, different suffixes, maybe prefixes, and the ending. The ending in the Russian language is super important. Remember, in English you just usually add s, right, to the whole word and that makes it plural. Not gonna work in Russian. In Russian, usually, you change, change the ending or sometimes you add ending if it doesn't have any. We'll see uh, what I'm talking about in a minute, but remember that it's just a little bit more tricky than in English. Right now I want you to draw a little table with me and here I'm gonna explain how exactly to change those endings. Let's begin. So first, if you see a word ending in a or a hard consonant, hard consonant, if you see any of these in the end, you change it to U, my favorite letter, U. Now let's look at a couple of examples. For example, the word student. Student, you obviously know what this word means. Student, student. Repeat after me, always keep practicing your pronunciation. Student. So, first we look at the end of the word and what do we have here? We have hard consonants. There is no soft sign, nothing pointing that it's soft, so it's hard consonant. And what do we do to make it plural? We add u in the ending. So, studenty, students. For example, they are students. Они студенты. Они студенты. Or now with A, with A, actually, комната. Комната. A room. Room. Комната. Repeat after me. Комната. What do we do? Here we didn't have any ending, right? So we just added, add, added, like add something. So added u. Here we have the ending ah, right? So we replace it with u. And the word komnata turns to the word komnaty. Komnat. Ты. Right? Комнаты. Same with the word, um, for example, карта. Карта. It can be a map or a card. Карта. What do we do? We replace а with ы, and we get cards or maps. Карты. Карты. Карта. Карты. Right? So, what else with a consonant? Let's take a yummy word. Pancake. Блин. Блин. Blean, pancake with caviar, yeah. So, we have a hard consonant. What do we do? We add u. Blini, blini. Pay attention that stress kind of jumps here because we didn't have any stress here. Blini. I will tell you about stress a little bit later. There are several situations with this. So, blin, 
один блин, and many pancakes, блины. The more, the better. So, one more time, write this part down. And uh, if you can uh, uh, recall several words ending with a or a hard consonant, practice right now, pause the video, try to write them down and uh, yeah, just to understand general idea. The second situation, if a word ends with ya or a soft consonant, right? Consonant, we change it to, guess what? E, E, E. Let's get to some examples. By, by the way, what does soft consonant mean in this situation? So, if the word ends with a consonant plus a soft sign or Y, which is soft, obviously, you change it just like in the first uh, situation, you replace it with E. So, let's uh, practice. For example, the word uncle, dadja, dadja, da, da. We see that it ends with ya, right? So we replace it with e and we get daddy. Daddy. Yeah, you see, we got rid of this one and replaced it with e. Daddy. Or maybe the word uh, family, simya. Simya. You I hope already know these words. Simya. How do you think? What do we do here? We replace ya with e. And we are getting the word semi. Semi. One family, simya. Many families, semi. Semi. Remember the stressing. Right now, when you are writing it down, always learn it together with um, stress. So, семья, семьи. Let's get to this one. I don't know, maybe battle, boy. A battle, boy. Boy, we have you, and it just goes to by. By. Pay attention to the pronunciation. A vowel reduction happens here. It was boy, clear, or now it's bai, bai, bai. Battles, several battles, bai. Okay. And uh, what else? Let's, I don't even know which. What maybe? Let's take a word with uh, a soft consonant in the end. And ho hopefully you wrote it down. Uh, and let's take a word bad. Bad. Kravat. I mean the one you sleep in. Sleep. Sleep. Bad. Kravat. Kravat. Кровать. Again, кровать. Кровать. Кровать is bed. And uh, here, you see what we're having? We are having this situation. So, we replace the soft sign with E. And we get кровати. Кровати. You see? Кровати. Кровати. I hope you see it. Or... Or we have in the window there again. So it's кровати. I hope you got the general idea. I know that it might seem a little tricky at the very beginning and you think that, oh my goodness, I need to think about each and every word when I'm trying to make it plural. But actually, if you understand the system itself, it will be much easier. And here it's having some logic in it. 
For example, remember that we have soft and hard pairs of um, sounds in Russian. For example, ah is hard and ya, 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 you hear it's softer. Ah, ya, ya, right? And these two, they make consonants hard. Ma uh, and mia. Yeah, you hear ba, bia, soft and hard. And here, hard consonants, soft consonants, and they turn. The hard ones turn to harder, 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 ooh, ooh, right? It's super hard. It even sounds like ooh. So I remember some students uh, learned how to pronounce ooh, pretending that somebody punched them in the gut and they were like ooh ridiculous but it works it works so and it's everything is hard here ah everything is soft here ya e it's even logically easier to do that hard stays with hard soft stays with soft i hope it helps you at this beginning stage now what to do if you have or in the end, or, or turn, turns to ah, or ah. For example, a window, akno, akno, akno turns to okna, okna. Okna, again, the stress and jumps here. Okna, okna, right? And uh, if you have ye in the ending, so it's something, 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 ye, it turns to ya, of course. Ah, ya, hard, soft, as usual. So, ya, for example, the word si. More. More. Look at the ending. Ye yeah. turns to ya. Yeah. Maria. 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 Again, ma, 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 ma. Maria. Vowel reduction. Always remember about it. Maria. Or maybe a word, uh, boom, I don't know, building, здание, z, da, ni, ye. Здание means a building, здание, so we have ye here, we replace it with uh, ya, so several buildings would be Zda ni ya. Zdania. Finally, the stress stays in the first position. Zdania. Several buildings. So again, o goes to a, ye goes to ya. And again, you feel the logic here. O is hard, right? O. A is hard. So again, hard stays together and ye is soft, goes to softer ya, o, a, ye, ya. So again, akno, okna, your turn, akno, okna, mm -hmm. more, maria, zdanie, Zdania. Okay, I hope you got it. And of course, just like in any other language, we have exceptions. Right. So when you see any of these in the end, Right? G, k, h, z, sh, ch, sh. Always 
e. Because in the first rule, I told you that if it ends with hard consonants, we put e there. But with these letters, these sounds, we add, this is plus, we add e. Uh, actually, there is no any logic to this, I guess. It's just um, something that came to the Russian language with its development in time. For example, this is the spelling rule that we learn in the first grade at school, and it sounds like жи, ши, пиши через и. Like 100% of Russian people know this rule. It means жи, ши, meaning this, жи, ши, write with e. жи, ши, пиши через e. жи, ши, write with e. Always, never, ever in human history <laughs> you see жи. Only in other Slavic languages, not in Russian. Never, never, never. So, maybe just in some Chinese uh, toponymics. Do you have this word? Toponyms? Toponymy. So, the names of the cities, rivers, and some other stuff. So, not, not like that. E, G, Shi. And you notice that I'm pronouncing it still with u, zhi, zhi, because it's uh, impossible to pronounce it like zhi, zhi, not in Russian. In Russian, these two zhu, shu, are always hard. Zhi, shi, zhi, shi. But just remember that they go with e. Where is my red light here? Uh, these two are always soft, on the contrary, so chi, shi, right? And these letters doesn't make any sense. Actually, yeah, just always add e in the ending. So let's get to some examples here. I hope you wrote it down because I, I need some space here. Uh, ho, ho, ho. What, what, let's make the word, uh, I don't know, pie, pirok. P, rook. By the way, let's get back to, to our pronunciation rules here. Pirok, remember the previous lessons, if we are having hard consonant in the ending, it, uh, oh, hard consonant, voiced consonant, g, 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 it becomes unvoiced. So g turns to a softer k, 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 quieter. Pirog, pirog, k. Don't say pirog, pirog. Don't scare people around you. Pirog, pirog, right? Pirog. And what do we do? We add e. Piragi, piragi. Piragi, piragi, pira, ah, 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 ah. Remember again, I'm, I'm so annoying, I know, but so many people forget about it. So, because the stress jumps here, this is a vowel reduction situation. So, we have piragi, piragi. I know it seems super difficult, but it's the Russian language. It's the Russian language. But one more time, if you are feeling that you are getting frustrated and you are thinking that you'll never be able to remember this, it's so not true. If you confuse it and even say piragi, everybody will understand you. So again, if it's, if you're thinking that this will stay on your way and if you should uh, quit learning completely because of this? No, actually, again, nobody cares in communication. Nobody will even pay attention if you make a mistake. So it's just if you want to be perfect in Russian grammar, learn this stuff. But if your goal is to communicate and to be understood, even if you, yeah, even if you make a mistake, nobody cares. So yeah. What else? Let's make another example. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Since we started with uh, pies and 
pastries that make the world or the word collage maybe i don't know in english collage it's like a round bread yeah with a hole inside so yummy thing collage just for to understand the rule we see ch in the end and uh, we add e kalachi so several kalaches kalachi mm -hmm. and uh, what else maybe uh what 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 grosh maybe I, i'm trying i'm picking stupid words no oh i don't know i don't know okay I, I think i'll add those words in the lesson i'll give a link to it so you can go and practice for now just remember that to these ones you add e okay i'm choosing the easy way here sorry and even more tricky words for you to scare you off again brat let's write them down brat sestra Sestra, друг, a friend, друг, again, друг, k, not друг, 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 and uh, for example, a house, дом. So these are exceptions, but these words you certainly need. So brothers is братья. Bratia. Bratia. Just a word to remember. Bratia. Brothers. Sisters is almost the... Actually, the rule is correct because... Oh, sorry. Because we're having a ah in the ending and we replace it with u. But this year turns to yo. Sistra, siostry. Sistra, siostry. Okay, sisters. Druk. This one, uh, yeah, even more difficult. A friend, druk. And friends, druzja. 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 For example, the famous uh, show, Friends, in Russian is друзья друзья and дом дом a house turns to дома 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 houses homes would be дома so these four exceptions i want you to practice with them and to remember them and we already mentioned the stress right with the example of the word student. Student. So there are several situations uh, and uh, the stress can stay the same. Studenti, right? Studenti, or like in the word window, akno, okna, so it jumps forward, or oh, jumps back, or it can go forward. Uh, so, Unfortunately, yeah, it's another thing you have to remember. But again, if you make a mistake, and nobody will even pay attention. So don't worry about it at all. But the good thing is that very soon you'll start noticing similarities. For example, student, moment, moment. Right? These words came in, come in from foreign languages, moment, student, I don't know, incident, incident, or all those words, same words, you'll notice those similarities that in this situation, the stressing, the stress uh, stays in the same place. And just like that with all the other words. So don't care about it, just practice practice and practice and you will notice that it's getting easier and easier for you. Now how about some practice? I write the word you think of how to make it plural. 
mama. What do we do? We look at the ending. We see a ah here, so it turns to. Actually, I'd love to make you pause the video and think before I give you the answer. So the gears in your brain start to work. So here we replace a ah with u, ma mu. So it's mom and moms, mothers, mama. Same with uh, the word papa. Super easy. Papa, papu. But again, there will be several exceptions. I, I don't think we need to cover all of them now. So let's stay with simple examples. Okay, how about the word a door? Dvir. 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 I just looked around and saw a door, so decided to use it. Remember, it's the very first situation. Oh, no, 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 no. Stupid me. It's the second situation. We're having a soft sign. What do we do with soft consonants? We add soft E, right? So, dvir, a door, turns to dviri. Dviri, doors. Dviri. Right, what else? Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, I forgot the word for this. How do you feel when someone makes hefshi and everybody, everybody says, bless you, forgot, but... That's what I wanted to do now, but I didn't. Such a hero. So, snooze. No, not snooze. Oh, sorry. Okay. Computer. 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 What do you see in the ending? You see the hard consonants. So, you just add u. Computery. Computery. Computers. Of course, same with the word telephone. 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 Um, telephone. 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 Mm -hmm. Again, I hope you wrote it down because I'm gonna remove it. How do you think? Should we practice with possessive pronouns? I think we should because we already know them. I hope you remember them from the previous lesson. If you don't, right now while I'm removing uh, stuff from the whiteboard, you have a chance to have a sneak peek in your notebook. Okay, now I'm done. Everything is clear and let's get back to our personal pronouns. Я, ты, он, она, оно, они, they, мы, we, and вы, right? Вы. So, whoa, whoa. So, yeah, we add plurals today. And by the way, uh, last week I received several questions uh, about how to choose these possessive pronouns. For example, мой, uh, мой, let's say, house, my house, мой дом, and uh, for example, uh, моя книга, my book, моя Kniga. So, possessive pronouns have nothing to do with who you are. Male, female, doesn't matter. It only depends on the gender of what you are talking about. So, a house is male. Yeah, male. She is masculine. Masculine. Dom. So, it's Moi dom. These two stay together. It doesn't matter who you are, you boy or girl, doesn't matter. Kniga is feminine, so it's 
моя книга. I received so many questions last week, so it's my mistake. I guess I didn't make it clear. This goes to the object. Doesn't matter uh, who you are. So let's practice with the situation when we have several objects. Actually, right here, we already know that houses is дома. It's an exception, remember? Дома. And книга. Here it's very tricky because on the one hand you have а here, so you kind of want to turn it to у. But no, we have г here. Remember, we wrote those exceptions with г, к, х, ж, ш, чи, щи. So, g, it's hard to say книгу, книгу. For Russians, it's almost impossible to pronounce it. So, with the situation with g, you add e, книги, books, книги, right? g, e, книги. So, мои, right? Мои книги. Мои книги. Okay. Мои книги and мои дома. Мои дома. My houses. Uh -huh. Мои, мои. Мои книги, мои дома. In both situations, they are my, but there are several of them. So we use мои, мои, several books, several houses, my books, my houses, мои книги, мои дома. I know that it might seem tricky, but just a practice, just a practice. What's wrong with me again? Just practice for a couple of weeks. And that's what I encourage you to do. Every time I finish the lesson, I immediately receive something like, well, when's the next lesson? When's the next lesson? Guys, you need to master this first. You can't move forward until you learn it 100% well. Okay, so yeah, let's get rid of this one. And uh, let's practice with more words. For example, my sisters. We already mentioned it. Сёстры. Мои сёстры. Right? Мои сёстры. Uh, let me ask you a question. Это мои сёстры? Да, это мои сёстры. And you may ask, speaking about, or you may answer, because you are speaking about me, you can say, yes, they are your sisters. Да, твои сестры. Твои, your sisters. Твои сестры. How about his sisters? Его сестры. You remember that these don't change with plurals, right? If you don't, oh my god, sorry, my eye itches. Uh, его сестры, его сестры. If you don't remember this stuff, means that you didn't learn the previous material well. So, don't go to this before you master the previous lessons. I'm begging you, because you will get stuck. Ее сестры. Her sisters. Сестры. Mm -hmm. Оно. Его сестры. Its sisters. I don't know, maybe some monster has some sisters. Они. Их сестры. Their sisters. Сестры. Maybe there are two brothers and they have two sisters. So it's their sisters. Our sisters. Наши сестры. 
наши сестры, 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 right? And вы, ваши, your sisters, ваши сестры, mm -hmm. ваши сестры. Great. Now your homework. So homework, nothing special today. Just practice. And again, how to practice? Well, questions and answers as usual, just like we did before. For example, это твои книги. Книги. Are these your books? And you say, нет, it's his books. Это его книги. Его книги. Книги. Right? And uh, try it with different examples. Replace it. You can now replace everything and play with those sentences as uh, much as you need until you start using them easily without thinking what's there in the ending, how to how do I switch it. With enough practice, you will not even think about it. You will do it like that. Boom, boom, boom. Just practice. That's why we should dedicate some time to our learning. Well, I guess that's it for today. Follow the link below this video. I will put all the materials for this lesson, uh, this lesson with more words, because remember, I couldn't find any example in time. I'll put more words, more practice. So check out the link below this video. Okay, and for today, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. See you in my next lesson. Bye-bye.